Uh, beam touchdown. Speed check gear down. Check gear down. Check gear. And I'm looking for the other VFR traffic. Yep, there it is. Check gear. Got it inside. Yes. Okay. And we can call right base for 27 touch and go. Okay, 501 right base, runway 27 touch and go. Okay, 501, wind. 240 degrees, 120 runway 27, clear touch and go, pet and direction is up to you. Choice. Okay, 501 runway 27, clear touch and go, uh, north would be great. Just make it this After, after touch and go, right pet and approved. Delta Kilo X-Rex 47, verlassen. We said 97. So, 120 knots was the wind. Final check is final. Gears okay, down, three green. Parking brake release. Intentionally up. Landing light is on. Rudder trim is neutral. Final check is complete. Okay, now go ahead and fly some 97. We had a 1 2 knot wind, so half the wind is 6 knots on top of uh, 92. 92, so it's 98. Do not fly below 98. 98 is your V target. Observe the puppies, four reds, that's okay. And we have a touch and go clearance runway 27, we have 3 green and here's your 90 B a little bit more. Check 250 degrees, 1 4 knots. 4, so 7, that is 99. 99 is our V target. There you go. Now we have coming up to red to white, very nice. Very nice. Are you ready for your first DA42 landing, Sebastian? We're ready. Okay, here we go. Oh, a little bit right rudder. Okay. Uh, left air long. Yes. Okay, that looks about right. Remember, no flaps, early reduction of a little right rudder, maybe. Yes, look at that. Here's your touchdown. Whoa. Okay. Flaps up. And take off power set. Take off power set. And go and see that the wing is needing a little bit of left air on and 76 rotate. Rotate. Very nice. Just the rate. Brakes apply. Gear up. Very nice. Up, climb power set. Right side's clear, we can do a right hand turn. And he wants us on a right base. So go ahead and use the time already here in the turn to crosswind for a after takeoff checklist. Okay. So And remember the hash marks are not required, so if you can want to read that right here, I hold it for you. So after takeoff checklist, after takeoff gear, up. Up, alternate air, closed, after takeoff checklist. Complete. There you go, exactly. So we are continuing on the right turn. Correct, and here we are already on downwind. You can reduce your power to maintain about 110, 120, and we need a approach briefing. So slow down a bit. About the wingtip, for you guys, check and reference the wingtip on the runway is a good left right spacing for you, slowing down 1000 indicated. About 120 max. Flap setting, are we doing? Uh, let's go for flaps approach. Okay, flaps approach, so approach. looking for 88 plus the wind. Some mid 90s is going to be a good B target. Speed checked. Flaps approach. Flaps approach. Do you remember the flap approach speed? If you don't, here it is 133. <laughs> the cheat. Okay, beam touchdown. Okay, so, uh, continue momentarily. We have strong winds here. Just a few seconds. And speed check gear down. Check gear down. Check gear. And let's do a right hand turn with a radio call and in ten. Okay, 501 turning right base, runway 27, touch go, right hand pattern. Okay, 501, wind 260 degrees, 18 knots, runway 27, clear touch and go, right pattern approved. Okay, 501, runway 27, clear touch and go, right hand pattern approved. 18 knots, that's 9 on top. Makes it. 117. Long. Go. 18 knots plus. 18, half of that, 9. 
Half the wind. Oh, sorry, yeah. You continue to fly. We do the math in public. <laughs> so the V target is 88 plus 9 makes it 97. Yeah, 97. So you'll be low V target, Captain. That's my point. So go ahead and adjust your height. We go V ref is 88. 1011. And I do that for you, Captain. Yeah. And here's your final items checklist. Final. Gear down, three green, parking brake released, flaps approach, and rudder trim neutral, final checklist complete. Oh, you see it's quite busy, and uh, the more we do this advancing in the mission, the more we expect you to do it, okay? Yes. Let's check your V target, be a little bit uh, nitpicky on that, no, don't allow the V target to fluctuate that much. There we go, last time checked, the on 3 green runway 27 with touch and go clearance. And again, you probably need for the touchdown a touch of a right rudder, maybe. And little idle. More right rudder, more right. There you go. Okay. And flaps, so, and put the wings straight. Set and take off power set. Go power set. you just heard for the viewers again if you want to demonstrate it one more time as I said that is a gear warning and that's gear. that is triggered by a throttle position and the gear not being down and locked so that is a audio that gives us a warning that the gear is not down a beam midfield somewhere about here speed yeah. checked Hydrated. flaps approach Oops, approach you probably also notice a little of a ballooning effect 40 is something like a diamond thing that when you select the flaps that the aircraft's a little bit rising in altitude. A beam touchdown somewhere around here and he wanted to have a base call one more time. Okay, so flaps landing. Oh, speed check, flaps landing, yep. Flaps landing. And speed check, get out. Get out. Oh, we still have the warning tone. It will now go off when we have three green. There it is. Okay, now, go ahead and maintain the speed. Somewhere in the mid-90s, the exact value is going to be given shortly with the wind. So we are now calculating 86 plus half the wind speed. Okay, 501, right base, runway 27. Touch and go. Okay, 501, confirm, touch and go. Okay, 501, paper, touch and go. Okay, 501, wind 240 degrees, 19 knots, runway 27, clear touch and go, right pattern approved. Okay, 501, runway 27, clear touch and go, right hand pattern approved. Oh, we have 86 plus 9, 
That makes it 95. 97. It's 86 plus Correction, uh, 95, yeah. yeah. Don't do uh, math in public one more time. <laughs> okay. So, it is 97. Uh, sorry, 95. 95 is now our V target. That is our speed to fly on final. Final. Checklist, final, gear down, three green. Parking brake, check released. Flaps is in landing. Other trim neutral, final checklist complete. going to be our last touch and go. Thereafter we're going to do a full stop. Okay. Very nice. You can now see the two red, two whites. That uh, is a visual indicator that we are flying precisely on the three degree glide slope. Um, it's just a visual aid. If the runway is in sight. Before that, flying an IFR. Of course we will do that all on the instruments. Okay, last time check down three green touch and go clearance runway two seven. Very nice altitude control, I like that. Maybe you want to be a little bit more picky on the speed control, but it's a little bumpy today. That's fine. And you can probably see how the plane is already not flying straight. It's a little bit yawed into the wind, okay? Um, this yaw we need to take out so the wheels are straight on touchdown. Okay. And uh, slowly out to idle. A little bit more right rudder. More right. More right. There you go. That's, that is straight. Excellent. Very nice. Okay. Oh, flaps up. Retrim. Looking good. And take off power set. Don't let the bank develop. Yeah. Take off power set. Take off power set. Rotate. Okay, my controls. Oh, control. Okay, positive rate, brake supply, gear up. You can relax a little bit, and maybe if you want to show something, I'm going to give you the aircraft back on downwind. Okay. Um, this is going to be our last pattern, and you're going to do your flap selection as well. Rookie 501, we'll go, and this will be full stop. Roger. 8400, flaps up, climb power set. I'm going to hand you the checklist. Thank you. After takeoff items checklist. Oh, after takeoff checklist. It's, it's clear. After takeoff, gear up, flaps up. Alternate air. Post. To take off checklist completed. There you go. And approach briefing, Cap. What are we doing? Approach briefing. So uh, we'll stay here in Aga. Do a full full stop this time. Um, flap setting. I would suggest landing again. Um, which brings us to a V ref of 86. And um, since this is a full stop. Make it a good landing. Oh, <laughs> always. <laughs> As always. Yes. And uh, yeah, weather stays the same. We will uh, report right base runway 27 full stop. And then we'll calculate our final V target. Okay, now we need a approach items checklist. Approach items, approach checklist, approach V ref is 86 it's indicated. Pronunciations, engine page. It's right here. Checked. Approach checklist completed. Okay, we are about approaching midfield. Check gear. Okay, speed checked. Flaps approach. Beam touchdown. Flaps landing, gear down. Rookie 501, right base, runway 27, for full stop. Rookie 501, 125, degrees, 9 knots, gas 2, 3 knots, runway 
Final items checklist, please. Final items, final checklist. So we have gear down, trigger, parking brake, check, release, Oops. landing, rudder trim slightly to the left. Final checklist completed. Do you remember what the wind was? 18, gusting 23. 9, gust 23. 9, gust 23. Okay. So we have half the wind, which is. Make it five. Gust and gust factor. What is the gust factor? Gust factor is the difference between the steady wind and the gust. So the difference between nine and twenty-three is fourteen. The sum of that is not to exceed fifteen. So eighty-six plus fifteen is one hundred one. That is a lot of math. Okay, don't get carried away with this math. Your main Objective, your main task is to fly the airplane. So here's 101 on V-Target, Captain, for you. Okay. Here is about to red, to white. You have control. Have control. Thank you. 101 is the V-Target. On three green, landing clearance, runway 27. Uh, for the other guys, you just look outside. Sebastian, for you guys, take a look at the synthetic vision right here. We have, that's really cool. And we have some more features there, you can see the runway actually in there, you can see that Sebastian's keeping the little green aircraft on the runway threshold, that is really some nice features uh, you will have in your future airliners, that is really state of the art glass cockpit technology. And again a little bit of yaw, maybe a touch of right rudder and left aileron. All right, rudder, more aileron. Yes, that is straight. There you go, very nice, Captain. On the landing times, and we're going to leave at Bravo South. Okay, Bravo South.